When I started as a Roblox developer, it was just me and I was just stumbling around trying to figure it out. I hoped to make a lot of Robux, I hoped to work on big games, but it was really difficult because I didn't know anybody. I was really driven, I was really motivated, but I didn't know any other developers, right? And no matter how talented you are, whether you're a pro developer, your front page, or if you're just a new trying to make your first game, it's going to really help you to collaborate and speak to other developers. Now, this is where networking comes in. And when I say networking, I'm not talking about weird professional meetups or talk. There's a few different ways. There is Discord, there's Twitter, and of course there's the Roblox Dev Forum. And these each are very good places to start. And you can definitely start to find developer friends to work with. Now. The way that you network is you need to actually provide value. So I see a lot of people, they join my Discord or they go on Twitter or whatever and they start asking people for stuff. Can you please script my game? Can you please do this? Can you please do that? And a lot of people have asked me this, a lot of people ask random people this, and I'm sorry, but that's just not gonna happen. The first step is to provide value. Now, let me give you an example where I provided value and I ended up getting opportunities. So, well, this YouTube channel, right? So I've made a bunch of videos to help out other developers. People have seen these videos and I've actually gained some friends, whether they're YouTubers or other developers, and I've gained a lot of opportunities from this one YouTube channel. And how did it start? Well, making videos to help people out, right? You have to provide value and by value, I mean helping people with a problem, being positive, being there to provide solutions and be an inspiration to people. Not just asking and asking for things. That is not how you do it. There's a balance and there's a flow to network. And you can really see how this takes shape in a lot of areas in life. This could be even just being at school. And if you're at school, and you're trying to make friends, you can't just go around begging people for lunch money or something. Maybe they'll share with you or whatever, but you have to first be a positive person, be an interesting person. You have to give some sort of value. Even if you're in like a school environment, you're in a work environment, you have to give some sort of value to make friends. And then when you're friends, you can exchange different value. You can exchange different help with each other. You can make a joke, blah, blah, blah. All this stuff is a trade off. And it's a balance, right? It's give and take in a lot of ways. So this is what I mean by providing value. And when you provide value and when you start to gain connections with people by giving, you actually start to open up opportunities for yourself because the nature of a network is that you are a node in a network and there's different connections and links to other people. You provide value to the people you can, right? And then those people might refer you to others as you speak and all these different opportunities can take shape but you have to take the first step of actually speaking to people and giving as much help from yourself that you can now i know a lot of people might be like well what if i get used for my work well no just respect your own time respect others times respect your own time respect your own resources i'm just saying be a helpful positive person if somebody's trying to just use you for all your work, just cut them off. And most of the time, people are gonna be nice and people are gonna be, um, people are gonna be good people, right? But of course, there are scammers, people who try to use you, so of course, be careful, right? But I'm saying, take the chance, take the chance and really try to find people who you can work with by doing this. You have to give first. You can't just try and get developers to work for you without doing anything first, right? And one of the perfect places to actually start this is my Discord, Smarty Devs, right? This Discord has over 10,000 people now, and that is 10,000 different people who you could potentially network with, right? Who you could potentially work with. And there's three good steps that will help you in Smarty Devs to make friends and work with other developers, right? First, introduce yourself. Share a little bit about what you're working on, right? Share this in the lounge channel when you join. Share your goals and just be authentic, right? Second, engage. There's all kinds of different channels in Smarty Devs that allow you to do different things and just speak to people. Just give compliments on work. Talk about what you're working on anything really. You can self promote in some areas. Then third, value exchange. Offer help, seek advice, start projects, inspire people, give some advice on their stuff. And it's all about balance of giving, taking. The concept of value exchange starts to take shape really clearly when you start networking and start doing this, right? And it is really hard to put into words what can happen because it's unpredictable. 
and it's fun. You start talking with other developers and there's all kinds of opportunities that could come up that you can't even imagine right now, right? A lot of my opportunities that I've gotten have just been through networking. My friend Myro, he has so many different people who he knows, so many different developers, and he's talked with high level, high level front page developers. He's helped them out in ways helping them get visits with his ideas. And also they've helped him and given him a lot of knowledge and a lot of other contact. So he's just a huge example of how networking is so powerful. He also talks about this in Scripting Secrets. He, he goes quite in depth on that. He has some advice too. You can join that below. And you can also join Smarty Devs below. So I hope to see you there. I hope that you begin networking and start building that powerful connection with other developers so that you can work together on projects and have genuine developer relationships developer connections, and actually begin to make the projects that you want to make and have genuine friends to help you on the journey of development. So hope this helps and make sure to watch the video on screen if you want to learn about taking commissions because once you start to have connections, once you start to know other developers, well, now you're going to have people who may or may not want to pay you to help on your game and you got to know exactly how to make the most out of these opportunities so if you want to learn how to effectively take commissions you can go ahead and watch that video if that sounds like something that's good for you see you there